Sometimes we have to ask ourselves, what's using my life? One of the things that we know about life is that it is always changing. Sometimes you're up, sometimes you're down. Your brain is the most powerful weapon in the world. Once you put away your phones and your computers and all that shit we have nowadays, yeah, that's great. We're up to date. We, you know, you, but your brain is the only thing you have when you're going through depression, when, you, when you're going through hard times, when you're going through death, real life shit. You can't Google that shit, man. You're alone. You're alone. You may have a shrink you're going to. You may have a best friend you're going to. But there's 24 hours in the day where you're alone in this brain. And your brain is talking to you in all kinds of ways. And it wants to control you and pull you in these different pockets. If you can't control your own brain and your brain controls you, you're fucked. You got to tell your brain where you want to go and how you want to go and how you want to get there. You got to control it. If not, it's over. You know who has a plan B? Motherfuckers that lose. That's a fact. Okay, every single person that wins big, every single person that you look at, every single person that you're inspired by, every single person that you aspire to be like, they only have one motherfucking plan, and that is they are going to win or they are going to die fucking trying. The people who go all in, the motherfuckers who burn the ships and leave themselves no other option but success, those people are dedicating all their skills all their resources, all their energy into producing a specific outcome. One of the major things was the idea of duality, right? The idea that right and wrong aren't separate things, they're together, right? So something that happens to you is the best thing and the worst thing that happens to you. You can't, you can't separate them. Like they go together, everything has it's yin and it's yang and you can't get around it. I think the two things that we're all working towards is a sense of peace and a sense of purpose. Peace is for yourself and purpose is for the world. And I think we all exist in both places. The life was about self and about service. There was no either or. It wasn't disconnected or divided. You couldn't live a life of complete selfishness and expect to be happy. That wouldn't work.